Good morning everybody and welcome back to another episode of Dirt Grain Steel. Now we are back into the excavating videos. Everybody's feeling good so it's time to get back to work. So uh, first thing this morning we're going to do is the uh, 270's got a bad track tensioner. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get the hose started up. We're going to get warmed up a little bit and we're going to run that track off with bobcat and forks we're going to just purposely run it off so we can get that track tensioner out we're not going to break the chain or anything it's just much easier when you're outside just to run them off and it's loose enough that it will so uh stay tuned for later today because we have a new excavator coming uh since both of these excavators are down and we're waiting on parts for both of them uh we went ahead and we got a new excavator coming so uh, it's something we've never ran before, so it's going to be all new to us. So uh, stay tuned for that. It's going to be an exciting day. Can't wait till it gets here to check it out. So and if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button for me, please. I'd greatly appreciate that. So I'm going to get this hose started up, and uh, we'll get started. So the first thing he's going to do is he's going to get the track chain off the top rollers. Once we get it off the top rollers, then we can run it right off the end idler like a belt. So I'm going to rear the machine up now and then he can run it off or push it as I run it and it will run right off. So now he's got it pushed off the end idler. Now he's going to come back around. He's going to pick it up. And we're going to drag it away. Me help him a little bit here give him a little bit of slack there it is it's knocked off now we just got to kind of drag it away there it goes there it's off Okay, now the track's off. Now we can get that idler out and we can get that track tensioner jerked out of there, hopefully. Probably have to weld something on that track tensioner and pull it out with the bobcat or the feller buncher because it's in there pretty good. I had to, uh, when I rebuilt it like two years ago, this one was kind of questionable and I couldn't get it out of the tube, so I just left it in there and I rebuilt it in the hole. So this time it's going to come out completely and it's getting completely replaced. We've got a direct replacement one. He's trying to get the idler worked out of there now. Can't really see it. We'll have to get out of the hole. So there's the idler out. Now we got to get this track tensioner out. So it's uh, the bolts are actually broke out of the end guide and the end guide pushed out and uh, that's what caused it to blow out. So we're gonna get the welder generator here, get this ram pulled out, get something welded on there, and then we'll jerk it out with a chain. Well, I got my bar welded in with a chain on there. Let's see what happens. Oh, well, my welds are good. Well, we got it out that time. I had to get creative and weld a uh, jackhammer bit in there that I found hey, in the back of my truck. Spring's busted. Oh, that spring's broke. That's not good. Your spring's all busted. Yep, that's broke. That's junk. That's probably but the right part of it. It's out of there. I'm glad it's out of there. That was a lot of welding to get that to stay in there, but it's out. We had to take the bucket of the 270 and jerk it out. I should have been making a video when we done it, but... Okay, on to the next things. Semi, not stimmy. Simmy. Oh. Well, here's our uh, new toy. Ooh, look at that truck. Dale, why are you in the road? They can just leave truck, trailer, and all. You don't want no Mac. <laughs> Clifton. <laughs> That's a nice truck. I like yeah, that. It is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They don't care. Okay, let's get this unloaded so we can play with it. Uh, no, it's not. That trailer looks familiar. It's brand it? new. Yeah, it does. Hours on it. It that trailer looks like ours. It does. A little bit. Other ours don't have fenders. 
Okay, let's get her unloaded. Oh, 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 oh. I like that truck though. Look at them full fenders. Gross. I like, Clifton, the, I like the tag fender though. That's Clifton, kind of neat. shut up. I've never seen one on the tag. Yeah. Well, here we go. So far, I really like this thing. This seat is ridiculously comfortable. It's like sitting in a cloud right now. Got a hydraulic thumb. That's pretty sweet. So, yeah. I think I'm going to like this thing. The only thing is that thumb's a little narrow. I don't know how well I'm going to like that. But uh, it's going to be pretty cool to run this for a while. So it is a case, which case and link belt are the same thing. They are built by Sum and Tono. Uh, Sum and Tono built case and link belt. I'm not quite sure the history of when uh, that all took place. I think it all took place in probably the... Uh, Oh, probably 80s, early 90s is when that took place. A uh, little fun fact, the first excavator I ran with pilot controls was a 2650 Quantum Link Belt that my Uncle Jamie owned. Uh, very nice hoe, and that was the, the first time I had ever ran a machine with pilot controls. Up until then, I had only run the old John Deere 690B that I had learned in, and my aunt uh, Jamie got together and that's when I got to run on the pilot controls helping him. So that was a really nice machine. And uh, up until now, this is the first time I've been back in a Summon Tono or Link Belt or Case. So this is going to be an interesting experience. I've never ran anything this new uh, yet. So pretty excited. To be a uh, nice thing to try out for a while something different you know so uh, we're gonna get back over to the job and uh, we're gonna probably go to lunch because it is lunch time and then we'll come back and we'll uh, play with this for a while and see what it's like okay so we're back from lunch now we're gonna we're gonna get some trees out I've been running this for about a half hour now just kind of familiarize myself with the controls which have been super easy to understand uh, everything on it's very very uh, easy to comprehend and find buttons that you need to make things work the hydraulic thumb that's awesome this is the first time I've run this size of machine with a hydraulic thumb we've always just ran stationary thumbs and uh, so far I'm really liking it. I wish it was a little different design of thumb. Wish it was more of a rake thumb like I'm used to running. But uh, hey, it's better than nothing. So I'd like to thank Brandon Meyer down at uh, RPM Machinery for uh, the case dealer down in Lafayette for getting me hooked up with their uh, salesman to get this out here. They, uh, we told them that we were in desperate need of a machine and looking for one to rent. And, uh, by 11 o'clock this morning, they had us a machine out. So, very appreciative of that. Trying to get some of this little shit. This ditch is actually getting buried, so a bunch of that little stuff will just push in when we bury it. But uh, so far, I guess we'll call this my uh, pre-video of this machine, my thoughts, um, the thoughts of the machine right off the bat, because we do have it a month. We're going to run it a month and see how it is. A lot of little stuff in there, dad strength can rake through. So uh, it's very smooth, I will say that. It's powerful. I've taken out a couple big trees with it. I just want to get rid of this little stuff real quick. I've taken out some pretty good sized trees with it so far and and uh, it's proved itself so far, let's put it that way. But uh, it's quicker than I'm used to, but you know, given the old 200, it's got almost 20,000 hours on it. It's right at 17 something. So, uh, you know, it's getting a little up there in age. You can see it sitting over there with final drive off of it. That's where she died. So, uh, 
but yeah, we'll just call this the the pre what do you call that preview video of this machine. We'll do a walk around and stuff like we did the HX 300 Long Reach. If you're not if you're not familiar with my channel, go back into my older videos. There's solid gold of old videos that there is for you to watch. Uh, back when we uh, done the river work, I know a couple of my subscribers have discovered the older videos and they're like, oh, I wish I would have watched those a long time ago. Well, they're back there, so go back there and take a look at them. But I done a whole walk around of the HX 300 Hyundai. That was a that's a pretty impressive machine also. But uh, I just I'm trying to get used. To, oops! See, I bang that thumb once in a while. I'm trying to get used to how easy the pilot controls move in this machine. They move very, very easily compared to the 200 Itachi. So that's kind of why I'm a little shaky because I go to put a little more force than I actually need to run it. And I'm going a little slower too because I don't want anything to fall on it because it is a newer machine. I mean, it's not brand new, but it's still very pretty. And I don't want to uh, get a stump out right there. I don't want to beat it all up, you know. It's got some scratches and dings and stuff in it. It's not perfect, but I don't want to be the one to really destroy it or something. The treetop or something fall out on it. So that's why I'm kind of taking her easy. Until I get fully used to it. A small cherry will grab out right here real quick. Try to bang some of that dirt off that stump. But it is nice. You can bring that thumb down a little farther so you don't have to grab as far with the, or you don't have to travel the bucket as far to grab something. Now I've run mini excavators with hydraulic thumbs on them, but never a good size machine. And what I like is, well, you can't see it on the video. But I'll show you that. It's got a side view camera on the uh, left hand side, or right hand side of the machine, I'm sorry. Uh, so I can see everything that's going on on the right hand side, which I can't see from the seat. So that's pretty sweet. And of course, I got a counterweight tail camera so I can see what's going on back there. But okay, we'll get some video a little later on when I'm a little more used to it and maybe a little smoother.
been a fun day running this case excavator. I really enjoy it. Um, very comfortable. I feel real good still. My back's not killing me. So uh, I'm, I'm happy with it. So this is definitely one when it comes time to, to look into buying another machine. This is definitely going to be one that's uh, got its chance. So it's kind of nice renting them. Then you get to know them. Because like I said, I'll have it for a month. So I'll get to know it a lot better. But the first day, it, I'm very impressed on the first day. So we'll see how it goes. Clifton got some really good drone pictures, videos, as you've already seen in this video. I guess I can't uh, say that they're coming up because I'm going to put them in the video prior to this. So uh, you've already watched them, but Clifton done some good drone work today. So we're just going to clean some stumps up here, get them up on the fire, and uh, that'll probably be it for today stump out here I want to go get yet. Get the dirt knocked out of it. First official day back to work went real well I think. Feeling real good. <clears throat> I think the COVID is behind me. Thank God. So while I was sick, I stumbled upon another YouTube channel that I really, really enjoy. I thought it was really cool. Uh, the uh, Check out the Ohio Oil Man. Um, he's a guy about my age, I would say. He's out in Ohio. And uh, they maintain 400 of their own private oil well and gas wells. And uh, while I was uh, laid up, sick, I, I stumbled upon his channel and I really enjoyed his content. It's pretty cool the way they do some of the things they do. So uh, go check him out. Pretty uh, cool videos. Well, this stump is not being very... Uh, I'll let me do what I want to do. Hardwood stump. Bite it very easy. Oh, there we got it. I think. We're going to set him off to the side till this burns down a little bit so I can get it right up on top. But I do like the amount of power this machine's got. It'll do just about everything I've asked it today. So anyways... That'll be it for today. Thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Hit that like button. Give me some likes. I greatly appreciate that too. And I'll see you all in the next one.